Hello and welcome to Coastal Living Down Under Australia. I've just done this spontaneous live because I was painting some of these beautiful shells and I wanted to let you know the colour that was the most popular was the black. So we have started to do the black for our beautiful sculpt shell. So that's what you're looking at right here. Uh, we had some really, really great responses. Uh, however, this is the one we've gone with um, and we're extremely happy with it. I think it's come out really, really well. Okay, so here you go. So now we're gonna move on to, this is another one that we're doing as well. This is a Pacific Oyster uh, that we've cleaned up, boiled, and we have scrubbed and scrubbed and sanitized. And so now we're gonna go on to the color that we're going to paint all around the edges. Uh, so what I'm choosing to use today is we're going to go with, I've got two choices. I've got the rich gold and I have this metallic bronze. Uh, now I've been tossing up which one to do. So I don't know, I'm still undecided at which one I'm going to do. So if anyone that's watching now has any ideas on which colours to use, then let me know. So we've got a rich gold, which is this one here, and we have the metallic bronze. Now I do have some other colours, which I um, will use on other ones. But for this one, I wanted something that was really, um, really classic and really chic. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for this beautiful bronze. So what we're going to do is just give this a good shake. All right. And we're just going to get started painting. So the way we do the edging, and there is, it is a little bit finicky because we don't want to, we don't want it to go too thick. But for instance, with these bigger shells, you can, you can go a little bit thicker than you would normally. And the reason for that is they have such a wide lip. Whereas if you were using one of the smaller ones, such as this one, you really do need to keep it thin. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you find this live stream later on and it inspires you to get painting, to get creating, and to get creative. Hi Imelda! Welcome to my live stream. We decided to do an impromptu live stream because I got some shells ready to be painted and I thought why not why not show everyone a portion of how I do this how are you today how are you on this lovely Sunday and what is the weather like where you are we've had a wonderful sunny day here in Australia well on the east coast of Australia because we have had our fair share of rain not as bad as everybody else has been getting it in, let's say, Florida and places like that. So what do you think? Did I choose the right color? Should I have gone for the more yellow gold? Perhaps. If you're watching now and you're listening to what I'm doing and watching what I'm doing, jump in the chat box. Say hi. Introduce yourself if you are another YouTube creator and you haven't connected with those that are in the chat, please do so. If you're also looking at connecting with others, please try my members. I have some wonderful members. If you go into um, my channel and you click on the community page you will see all my members are listed in there 
So we've got Yumiko and family, we've got Pinne down under, and we've got Exotic and Tropical. They're, both, they're all very supportive, so please make sure you connect. Thank you. Do you think this is the right color? I wanted to make it classic chic. I'm still undecided if I'm going to put any um, decoration, hand paint anything on there. Although this is likely to be like a jewelry bowl, something that you would put your um, hair clips or your jewelry, brooches, things like that. So having something that's just one solid color will make everything that's in there really stand out. So this is just the first coat, which is usually a little bit finicky because I have to do it extra thick to cover the blemishes on the shell. But we also have this one over here to paint. And again, I'm undecided, do I do it black like our scallop shell or do I pick something different? I don't know. Quite go wide enough there with the black so we may have to just touch up this part here. What have you been doing today? Oh hi Maria! Welcome! Thanks for joining my live stream. How are you today? What have you both been doing today? Have you been out and about? Have you been visiting friends and family? We have been to the beach this morning, had a beautiful work, walk on the beach with friends and their dogs and our dogs. So that was really nice because we've had about five days straight of rain, 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 rain. So I'm all rained out now. So we've got a lovely sunny day and I've been out all day and now it's time to do craft. So this is what we're doing. We've got the kids playing in another room and this is my downtime, just to relax. And I thought, hmm, why not share this with everybody? And I really like this part because you can see as it starts to come together what it's going to look like. Now the back of this, I'm going to be doing the same color as the trim. So at the moment, we have a shell with all its blemishes, with all of the overcatch that I've scrubbed off as best I can. And soon, it is going to be a beautiful, beautiful jewellery bowl. It's probably big enough to be a key bowl as well, something to put your keys in as you come in the front door. It is quite large, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the size of my hand. And this is the size of the shell. So it is quite, quite a large shell. Yeah, Imelda, it is, it's huge. Uh, the oyster that came out of it, I don't know if you've seen my short videos, but the oyster that came out of it, I would have needed a knife and fork to eat. It was so big. Yes, this is definitely, Maria, this is definitely what I do when I'm feeling creative. I don't feel like this all the time, mind you. Life sort of, you know, takes over. But when I am feeling creative, this is what I like to do now. I've been doing candles for quite a while. And it's not often that you find another thing that you're interested in. And to be honest, I can't even remember how I got into this. I think I was watching a YouTube show, as, as usual, watching another YouTube channel. And I was like, you know what, I can do that. And I had all these shells that we had already collected. So I thought, why not give it a go? When you can source all of these things for free, being by the coast, 
or almost free, it certainly makes a big difference. I don't know, do you have uh, Pacific oysters over where you're both from? Am I missing anyone in the chat? I've got Maria and Imelda in here. If anyone else wants to comment, jump in the live chat. We're happy to meet you, say hi. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. What do you think? Now we have to paint these in two parts. We can't paint them obviously all over in one go because the bottom of the surface the bottom of the surface would be sticking to the map that I've got here and I don't want that so I generally will do the edging and this part and this little hump part and then once that's dried for at least 24 hours sometimes longer depending on how thick the coat is then I will go on and do the back and I generally will do two to three coats depending on the thickness Now the other thing, I've got a little bit more time at the end once I get all this done. I just wanted to show you the new papers that I've got because these are the papers that I'm going to be doing on all the new shells that I have. And I've sourced a new um, oyster supplier so I can get some of these big Pacifics. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I don't have to go far to get them, which is even better. So that's basically what it will look like once it's finished. And I think I probably, I'll obviously put a varnish on it to give it a nice shine. Um, but inside here will be uh, pieces of jewellery, hair, hair clips, things like that. So we'll just put that one aside. That one's going to dry now. Just put that down, make sure I don't get paint everywhere. I'm not sure if you saw this one. This was our scallop shell. And we've done that all black. And the next step for that one is to put the varnish over the top, which will give it a nice, nice, nice shine. Okay, so we'll put that one back on. And now I just want to show you these beautiful papers. So this is another Pacific Oyster that I have painted. It had a few marks in here, so I had to paint it white so that it doesn't show through behind the paper. Okay, and here are some of the papers that I have. Let me just open this up for you. Some of them are really, really nice. So this one here in particular is my favorite. So if you can see that one flies and some tree branches and what looks to be cherry blossoms to me so I'm going to be doing up some shells that look like that hi Mel hang on let me give you a jacket Mel in Singapore or S Mel in SG is in the house let's add your jacket welcome to my live stream Yes, Amelda, I really like the cherry blossom, as you can tell, because I've got the cherry blossom here. Um, and I got married, um, and our wedding invitations had cherry blossoms on them as well. So we really like cherry blossoms. And this is the original, this is what the original paper looked like before I did those two shells behind it. So it's the Eiffel Tower in Paris and the beautiful cherry blossoms on the tree and a few of them blowing around. So this is this is really, really pretty and I haven't have this another one to do. The other really exciting thing is all of these products will now be available on Etsy for you to buy. So this is the other one if you missed that. This is the other cherry blossom one. So I'll be doing that up as well. Now I have here Enchanted, 
this is another one that I'm going to be doing and you can see it's got sort of bubbles it's got all the really nice blues and some writing and things like that so I'm going to be doing some in that color as well and I also given that we're getting so close to Christmas I got some Christmas ones as well because I thought these little bowls will be fantastic for you know putting nuts in or you know little decorations around the house or on the dinner table so we're going to be cutting out some of these and transferring those on as well so there's lots happening there's lots of things that will be coming up on our Etsy page um, so I've only got the one product up there at the moment or the one pattern but as I start making these obviously I'll be videoing them but as I continue to make these, there'll be more that go up. So I will have to bring up my Etsy page and not that I'm expecting anyone to buy them, not at all. But in case anyone else you know is interested or you know, you might, you might wanna buy some, uh, perhaps I'll give some away to my members. I might do some live streams and some giveaways let me just find the link for you all. It's on here somewhere. D U A U S T. At the moment, I can't find it. That would be right. That's okay. We won't worry about that. So they're the really nice papers that I have um, for the shells that I'm doing. Does, uh, does anyone that's in the chat have any preference? Which one I should do next? If you do have a preference, chuck a comment in there. Okay. All right, there we go. I found it, finally. All right. Let me see if I can. I'm not sure if I can even do this, but we'll give it a go. Thanks for coming, Mel. Appreciate you dropping in to my live stream. If you haven't, Maria, Amelda, if you haven't already connected with Mel in Singapore, um, if you could, that would be great. She's been great supporting me. Um, so that would be fantastic. Hi, Charlene Hill. How are you? Thanks for coming to my live stream. So I've just been doing some painting. I'm not sure how long you've been here or if you have just arrived, but we've just been doing some painting. We did some of the um, metallic bronze here on this black one. Um, I did this last night as well, which is our lovely scallop shell. And I was actually going to show you how I do the um, do the paper portion of this shell here. Now I'm just going to move these out of the way. I'll show you the glue that I've got. And then we'll go and I will... I'm just going to see if this works. Alright, so I think I'm going to try this one here. This is the other cherry blossom. And we'll just take it out of the packaging. These papers are very delicate. And it's also, you know, they're, they're not all that cheap, so it's always good to make sure that I don't waste any. So here we have, well, I'm just looking at this. Does it have a right way up? So the way I'd usually do it is I just pick one of the corners because these are more like a triangle. 
and I just push them in like so. I leave it as a whole piece to start with. Make sure I've positioned it and I've got full coverage up the sides because that's important. And it can be quite hard with these because the shells are so, so deep. So that's pretty much going to give me full coverage. Okay, so we're happy with that. So we usually just put it around like this so it's sort of, it's clear to me where I need to cut. And I will just get my scissors. Of course, I didn't bring the one thing I need, I didn't bring over. Hi Irene, welcome to the chat. I'm just getting my scissors. And I'm back. Welcome to my impromptu live stream. How are you? I see Charlene, you're happy to be here and you're loving the shells. Thank you so much for coming. And Irene, if you haven't connected with anyone here, Irene's really supportive and she's been wonderful to me since I've been on my journey through YouTube. Okay, so basically, we're just going to cut, and we don't want to cut too close. We're just going to cut around the edge of the shell. And this just makes it more manageable for me when I'm trying to glue these in. There we go. Now I've got the sun streaming in here, so it's probably making it a little bit hard for everyone to see, is it? Oh no, that's pretty good. Thank you, Irene. I was saying earlier, that when I get a bit of a creative mood and the children are entertained, this is what I'm doing now. I was doing candles um, and I love candles, but um, I've kind of been enjoying this lately. I will still keep doing my candles though. Now this is the um, glue that I use. It's also a sealer and a finish, um, but I have also been using a varnish just to give it that really, really good shine. So you can see here, this has just had the glue on it and you can see that it has a shine to it already. But the varnish just gives it that extra gloss, really. So basically what we're doing is we're just putting some of the glue in here. And we're going to use our brush to brush it in here and around all the edges of where I want it. So if you don't want it to be glued to something, don't put glue in that section. So my job here is I go around the edges and I make sure that we have all the glue up to the right up to the edge where I want it to stick. Now I have put a, a primer on over this already. This is why it's white. And that's just to take out any of the blemishes that it might have had. Okay, we just need to get the glue up there. Uh, and sometimes if you have quite a deep shell, you might have to put some glue on your finger and get your finger up in there and bend because obviously I can't bend the paintbrush to get up there. And that just makes sure that we get quite a good surface. Oh, Maria! Shelly Maria has connected to you. Irene, you're just chilling on a Sunday. Well, that's good. That's what Sundays are for. I love to hear that. That's what. That's pretty much what we've been doing as well. Boyotan TV. Hello. Welcome to my live stream. How are you today? Yes. Happy Sunday. Sundays are my favourite. And we just do the glue like that. Okay. So once all the glue is on we then get our piece and we put it now I'm just going to move this other shell a bit further back so we position it the way we had it and we put the tip of that in first 
like so. Use your finger to push it in. And what we're main, mainly concerned of here is that we get it firmly placed down into the middle of the shell here. And from there, we can work our way out just by using your finger. You need to make sure your fingers don't have any glue on them and they're not sticky because otherwise you're going to take some of the pattern off on the paper. It's too hot there, is it, Boyatan TV? It's actually a beautiful day here today. You can probably see the sun streaming in from our veranda. And we're not gonna complain because we've had a lot of rain lately. And yes, I am doing crafts. So this is something that I'm gonna be doing from now on. I'm just gonna have impromptu live streams of me doing some crafts. If you have something that you would like me to try or you want to see a particular pattern that I have that I'm to do that, just tell me. Send a comment. Let me know what it is you'd like me to or like to see and I will try and do that. At the moment I'm just doing this was one of my favorite patterns that I saw online when I bought it and I've been waiting for a time to do it. And now is the time. All right. So we're just going to stick all that down to the edges and just fold the edges over like so. If you find that it's not sticking up to where you wanted it to stick to, just get your glue brush and rebrush. I'm usually a little bit quicker, but I'm trying to obviously do a live stream at the same time, so it hasn't stuck properly. It's dried too much before I got stuck into it. So now that you've done that coat, if you've doubled over, you might find you have to add a little bit more in that section. All right. So once it's stuck down everywhere that you want it to be, then what we do is we add glue over the top as well. As I said, I'm just going to push that up in there. So what we don't want is really any air bubbles down here. Because when somebody puts in their jewellery, it might break through the paper. So we get our glue again. And off we go gluing. Forty degrees. Okay, sorry, I'm a bit distracted. <laughs> like we'll get to your comments when I just have to. Some of this stuff is time sensitive. So forty degrees. Wow, it is very hot. Really, really, that's a really hot day. I hope you've got some air conditioning or a nice breeze or something at your place, just to make it bearable. Maria Bouyatan TV. Maria saying hi to you. Maria is wonderful. So if you haven't... <laughs> you want me to make a bracelet with gemstones? Hmm, where am I going to get these gemstones from? I could potentially find some uh, glass that has been washed around on the beach which usually looks like gemstones. My girls always pick them up and go, oh my goodness, look, it's a diamond or it's jade. I go, no, it's not. It's just glass that's been tumbled around in the waves and now has smooth edges. So I could potentially do something like that for you for sure. Yes, the paper here, this is rice paper. So I have tried other papers I've used other decoupage papers, uh, but they're just too thick for what I'm doing. If I had a flat surface, thank you for the comment, Charlene. Appreciate it. Uh, if I had, um, yeah, a flat surface, if I was just doing it in a book or a folder or something like that, then I could definitely use the decoupage um, paper. But because these, there's so many angles and grooves and things like that, I really need something 
thin. And I did also try just plain napkins because they're so much more affordable than this rice paper. But what I found with the napkins is that the colour and the print comes off too easily. And I can't have that either. So we're left with uh, this rice paper, which is perfect for what I need. It's flexible, it's thin, and so far I haven't had any of the prints come off, which is exactly what I needed. So we'll just keep using this for now. And so all I'm doing here is I'm just pushing the glue through the paper, really. I'm taking out all the air bubbles. Uh, it, you are going to get lines when you're doing this sort of thing because, as I said, there's so many bumps and grooves that you just can't, you can't get it on without getting some of the grooves. Um, and if you put enough coats of this glue over and over, the bumps generally to the touch um, are very minimal once you've done a number of coats. So now what I do is I leave this overnight for it to stick down. Oh, this one uh, so this one I would use it um, for holding jewelry um, depending on what finish if I use a food safe finish you could actually use it to put in um, salt on the dinner table or some pepper uh, but generally I use the smaller ones for that I'll just show you for instance this one that I have here uh, now this one when I do start selling these will come with its own spoon and the spoon will go and sit in here and it has a matching set so there are two and then salt in here pepper in here with two spoons and you would have that at the center of your dinner table as a feature for your salt when you have your own dinner parties just to show off um, yeah now we're just going to go through some of the questions. What did you use for sticking into the, the shell? Yes, yeah, special paper. Peridot. Peridot's, Peridot's my birthstone. I am an August baby. So I love Peridot. It has that really light green colour. It's fantastic. Yes, no, you wouldn't use these for an ashtray, only because you'd probably only get to use them once or twice and then the paper would be ruined. And this that I'm, the, the stuff I'm painting on is the glue. It's also a finish and a sealer. So I would normally put about two to three coats of this on. And that also just locks in and protects the paper. <laughs> Can you have one? Well... That's interesting you asked that because I was just saying earlier that I have just opened an Etsy page. So if you go onto Etsy and you type in, um, what have I got? Uh, my, my page seller name is Coastal Living, D-U and then A-U-S-T. And at the moment I just have one pattern on there that's for sale, but as I do these um, I'll be selling them as individual pieces or they'll be coming in as sets like this. So you'll be able to buy your own piece of art that I've made on YouTube. And there, there, there you go. I wasn't sure if I was going to do any of that and, you know, maybe I sell some, maybe I don't. Uh, but there's also a local market for that sort of stuff here where I live as well. Um, so I have that as another option as well. So there you have it. That's pretty much all I'm going to do for this one tonight today. So we'll just leave that overnight and then I will remove the excess and then sand. There's a lot of sanding that needs to happen um, and then another coat and then we'll go into doing the trim like we've done here. So my next step for this one is to paint the back of this beautiful Pacific Oyster and the opposite I need to do here is the trim and I'm just still deciding on what color because this is actually quite a large one this is bigger than my hand I can't even fit my whole hand around this one so this one you could use 
for um, your keys on your entrance table and it's beautiful. Okay, so sorry I missed a few comments. Oh you have lots of seashells in the Philippines. Boyatan, whereabouts are you in the Philippines? Northside Hawk, welcome. Just giving you your jacket. Welcome to our live shell art. How are you today? We've just been doing some of this shell art. You've come in, I think, unless you've been watching, you've come in towards the end because I am going to finish up soon. But I was just showing some of the art that I do in my short videos. Uh, this is one of my favourites. This is the Eiffel Tower with the cherry blossom. And this is the paper that it originally used in order to make the design. So you have the Eiffel Tower and the beautiful blue sky with the cherry blossom, which you can see I have transferred over to this beautiful shell. So essentially, it goes a bit like that. So these two will either go as a set or individually, depending on who ends up buying them. This one we've just done as plain and it will look beautiful when it has a really nice piece of jewelry in here. Um, and you can also uh, use these to, to go with a piece of jewelry for your significant other. Uh, and these ones, I'm going to be making a number of these with different patterns and they're going to be for salt and pepper and you would have a spoon which will come with them sticking out. Uh, and I have these in a different design on my Etsy page that I've just launched. So I'm just trying to find the link to the so I can share it to you. I will have to look into that and get back to you. But we definitely have those things available. Um, rather than them just be sold locally, I'm going to have them international. So anyone who, like, uh, for instance, anyone in the Philippines or America or, or like Buyatan in the Philippines. Northside, you're down in Melbourne. Well, there you go, see? You probably come up this way for holidays to the far south coast of New South Wales. And it's nice and sunny down in Melbourne. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I was just saying that I am so sick of the rain. <laughs> so it's really nice having a beautiful sunny day. Amelda, yes, the cherry blossom. Is it this one? The pink cherry blossom is your favourite? Because this is my favourite. This one is a cherry blossom as well, but it's the white cherry blossom. I think if I choose the right colour for the border, it will also be spectacular as well. Yes, yes, this one. Do you think I should do this one black as well? What do you think, Charlene? Boyutan, Northside, Imelda, and Irene, if you're still here, what do you think colour-wise should I do around the edging? You've already seen what the black looks like. Should I go for a gold, perhaps? around the edging. I'm still undecided. Any help and assistance you can give me would be fantastic. And when I do these sorts of things, I will probably do what I did before. I'll do a short video of me making them up to this point and then ask for everyone's input. Gold, yeah, okay. So I have like this rich gold, which is more of a yellow gold. And then I have this one here, which is a, it's actually a bronze, but it's, um, it's more um, like a rose gold color. So what I might do is I might grab out the other colors that you can have a look at and tell me what you think.
So I have, this is actually, sorry, this is a copper. This is sort of like a rose gold. It's very similar to the metallic bronze. And then we have this chameleon color, which is the halo violet gold, which is what you can see here with the purple. So it sort of gives a bit of a shimmer depending on the light and how it's reflecting. And then this is also the same. This is the, hot, the halo. And I'll show you what that one looks like. This is only one coat. I still need to do another coat. But it comes out with sort of like a blue green. And this is this is the one that I just showed you, the copper. So it comes out like that. So this is quite a it, it's more rose, it's more of a pinky, pinky gold. And that's got the beautiful leaf pattern inside. And these are the ones that are on my Etsy page. So they come with a spoon as a salt and pepper. And there's also a big one like this that also has this pattern inside. And there is also the scallop shell that has the same pattern. And you can buy them individually on the Etsy page. This is my favourite favourite pattern. Okay, so we're going to finish up my live stream now. So I'm thanking everyone for being here. Oh, Lee Sung Sun, hello, thank you. Welcome to my live stream. I was actually just finishing up. Let me just jump in here and give you a jacket. So if you do want to connect with anyone in here, you can. There you go, you've got your jacket. Boyotan, you prefer the silver. I actually have a silver somewhere, but I didn't get it out. Oh, here, there's the silver. So you think silver for this one? Gold, yeah, and silver. Yeah, this one, I think this one and silver might be good too. We'll have to just see. I may have to just do a little test to see whether it looks good. And welcome to the live stream. Thank you for coming, Lee Sung Sun. If you would like to um, connect with everyone here, they're all wonderfully supportive. Please feel free to do so. Check their channel out at the end. Uh, if you've missed the start of the live stream, you can always go back and click on each person you want to connect with and go to their page. Um, same goes for everyone. If you want to connect with Lee Sung Sun, please do so. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being at my live stream. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will be doing these every now and again just to show you the creations and, just, and also just to get some input from you all because, you know, However, however many extra heads I've got will always get a much better outcome on what colours I choose. So thanks very much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. Well, it's afternoon here. Perhaps it's only morning where you are. And please check out my new um, shorts channel. I also have a new shorts channel, which is Shorts by Coastal Living down under Australia so please check that one out as well we've, we've got some pretty funny short videos that we're doing so any extra support there would be really welcome uh, again thanks for being here I hope I've entertained you or given you some creative ideas on what you can do at home and perhaps what you could do for your channel and I hope to see you at the next live stream thanks very much